good morning doctors we have with us dr more from uh, wellness clinic 1 he is a qualified microbiologist and a pathologist he is going to talk with us on how to use red cell indices for diagnosis of anemia in wellness clinic thank you uh, we are having a 10 to 20% of uh, cases of anemia coming to our opd on daily basis still on the uh, good quality rbc indices or the hemogram report we can diagnose the anemia cases in certain certain conditions or we can at least narrow down the differential diagnosis of anemia on the basis of good quality hemogram report we have to see first the mcv values on the basis of abnormality of mcv value we can differentiate anemia into two different types uh, three different types that is the uh, microcytic anemia normocytic anemia and third one is the macrocytic anemia when we are dealing with the mcv it shows you average red blood cell size circulating in a blood when we are dealing with the mch it indicates the hemoglobin amount per red blood cell as well when we are dealing with the mchc it is the amount of hemoglobin relative to the size of the cell that is hemoglobin concentration per rbc similarly rdw is the numerical expression of rbc size variation means it is a expression of level of anisocytosis in a blood or peripheral blood smear as a microcytic when the mcv is less than 79 and macrocytic when the mcv is more than 98 this is the first starting point of classifying anemia or first parameter to classify anemia but please remember when both micro and macrocytic feature are available in the same sample of blood it is reported as normal mcv and this is the foremost and important pitfall the macrocytic indices that is mcv value is more than 99 then further categorization is possible on the basis of value of rdw that is the red cell width with elevated rdw and macrocytic indices the conditions are observed in folate or b12 deficiency immunohemolytic anemia or myelodysplastic syndrome as well when normal rdw and macrocytic indices are present it can be observed in alcohol diseases myelodysplastic disorder aplastic anemia and chemotherapy then we come to normocytic indices that is the mcv value is between 80 to 99 it further categorized on the basis of rdw value when it is elevated or whether it is normal with elevated rdw and normocytic indices that is mcv is between 80 to 99 it can be observed in early iron deficiency or folate or b12 deficiency states as well as combined deficiency states sickle cell anemia and chronic liver diseases the second state that is the with normal rdw and normocytic indices can be observed in acute blood loss anemia of chronic diseases or anemia of chronic renal disease now the indices is the reticulocyte count it is a reti count it is a number of immature rbcs in peripheral blood it is normally 1 to 1.5% of a total rbc count it just tells us the normal or abnormal functioning of the bone marrow high reticulocyte count is seen in acute bleeding conditions chronic bleeding conditions hemolytic anemias and kidney diseases as well low reticulocyte count levels it's seen in nutritional deficiency cases such as iron and folic acid or vitamin b12 deficiency bone marrow failure caused by the duct toxicity infection or cancer kidney diseases cirrhosis of liver now the last parameter which we will consider for analyzing the cause of anemia or the type of anemia is the hematocrit value hematocrit is nothing but the packed cell volume it is packed volume of rbc in 100 ml of blood it is expressed in percentage 
in males it is normally 45% and in female it is 40% high hematocrit is observed in dengue shock syndrome polycythemia vera various hypoxic conditions such as sleep apnea and dehydration low hematocrit value is observed in anemia thank you dr uh, more for this informative talk on how to use red cell indices in wellness center to arrive at uh, a possible diagnosis and if not uh, a complete diagnosis at least it paves the pathway for for the work up of anemia uh, we are very glad you uh, discussed it with uh, with us at length we will meet you sometime with some other topic so for the time being goodbye and thank you